Hello everyone, welcome back to Unite Coaching. So in this video, we are going to talk about some MCQs on MMC and PIT Act. So let's start the video. So the first question is, According to Maharashtra Municipal Corporation Act of 1949, the commissioner is required to present an annual report, matlab jo yearly report hoti hai wo, to the corporation on the dash within the city. Matlab commissioner ko jo annual report present karni hoti hai to the corporation. Wo kaun se, uh, matlab within the city wo kis pe present karni hoti hai? What is the topic? First, status of registered births and deaths or status of water supply and sanitary schemes or status of public vaccination or the last option is status of environment. So the answer is option D status of environment. So the next question is as per Maharashtra Municipal Councils, Nagar Panchayats and Industrial Townships Act of 1965 Council shall prepare a scheme for supply of protected drinking water to the inhabitants of its area as soon as after the appointed day. Matlab, jo bhi council banegi, they have to prepare a scheme. Konsi scheme hai wo for the supply of protected drinking water to the inhabitants. Jo bhi vaha ke log hai, unke liye uh, drinking water provide karna as soon as after the appointed day. Matlab, council jab appoint hogi. Uske next day se unko prepare karna hai scheme. But maximum time kitna hai ye preparation of scheme ke liye. So option is one year from such day or two years or three years or five years. So the answer is one year. So the next question is as per Maharashtra Municipal Councils, Nagar Panchayats and Industrial Township Act of 1965 Council shall execute the scheme for supply of protected drinking water to the inhabitants of its area as soon as after the appointed day within dash years from such day. Matlab, pehla question kya tha ki preparation of scheme kitne uh, time mein honi chahiye? What is the maximum time? So it was one year. But here it is execution of the scheme. Matlab, wo scheme jo hai providing protected drinking water to the inhabitants. So wo uska maximum time kitne? for execution so it is one year or two years or three years or five years jo bhi scheme execution hai wo kitne years mein honi chahiye maximum so the answer is five years from the day of appointment So the next question is, as per Maharashtra Municipal Councils, Nagar Panchayats and Industrial Townships Act of 1965, the scheme for the supply of protected drinking water to the inhabitants shall be so prepared as to make available not less than dash liters of water per day per head of the population within the municipal area. So the question tha ki preparation of scheme, maximum time was one year. For execution of that scheme, the maximum time was 5 years. And here they are talking about ki kitna water provide karna chahiye to the inhabitants per liter of water per day per head. So the options are 135, 100 liters, 70 liters or 150 liters. So the answer is 70 liters. Here you are confused because in the environmental engineering we had 135 liters per capita per day. But here the answer is 70 liters. Through this scheme they have to provide 70 liters of water per day per head to the inhabitants. So the fifth question is, as per Maharashtra Municipal Councils, Nagar Panchayats and Industrial Townships Act of 1965, if a council finds itself unable to investigate, to prepare plans and estimates and to execute the scheme, the council may apply for assistance. Matlab, jo bhi humne pehle a scheme padi, wo agar scheme ya fir plans wo execute nahi kar paate. The council is unable to execute ya fir wo estimate nahi bana paate uske ya fir they are unable to do the work. 
then they can ask for help or for assistance to the state government within dash months from the appointed day. मतलब वो जब से अपॉइंट हुए उसके कितने दिनों बाद से वो असिस्टेंस के लिए या फिर हेल्प के लिए मांग सकते टू स्टेट गवर्नमेंट सो द ऑप्शन इज सिक्स मंथ्स और फोर मंथ्स और थ्री मंथ्स या फिर नाइन मंथ्स सो द आंसर इज फोर मंथ्स so the sixth question is as per maharashtra municipal councils nagar panchayats and industrial township act of 1965 every council shall have a president who matlab president kaise kaise appoint kiya jayega ya fir use choose kaise kiya jayega so shall be elected by the elected councillors from amongst themselves ya fir shall be nominated matlab nomination kiya jayega by the elected councillors from amongst themselves or shall be nominated by the col uh, collector from the councillors or the last option that is shall be nominated by the collector from the outside matlab pehle jo bhi councillors hote hain unko appoint kiya jata hai unko choose kiya jata hai then from that people they choose a president so the answer is shall be elected by the elected councillors from amongst themselves wo unke logo mein se hi kisi ek ko elect karte hai as a president so the next question is as per maharashtra municipal councils nagar panchayats and industrial townships act of 1965 the collector shall convene a special meeting matlab a collector shall conduct a special meeting of the councillors for election of a president matlab jo bhi meeting hogi for election of president that should be within dash days from the date on which the names of the councillors elected to the council are published or as the case may be provided matlab except a meeting under this section shall not be held before the expiry of the term of office of the outgoing councillors matlab jo bhi councillors hai unki term of uh, office jab tak khatam nahi hoti tab tak ye new meeting conduct nahi ki ja sakti so it is within 30 days from the date or 25 days or 15 days ya fir 20 days so the answer is 25 days. Here a note is written that that is is written question question subject to the provision of section 51 1A, every council shall shall have a president who shall be elected by the elected councillors from amongst themselves. the collector shall within 25 days from the date on which the names of the councillors elected to a council are published or as the case may be first published under the sub section 1 of section 19 in the official gazette convene a special meeting of the councillors for election of a president so the eighth question is as per maharashtra municipal councils nagar panchayats and industrial townships act of 1965 in the meeting called for the election of president the collector when presiding over the meeting will have matlab jo collector waha pe hoga usko kya kya powers honge so first option is usko powers honge as vice president but will not have a power to vote he will have the same powers as president and will have the power to vote ya fir he will have a same powers as vice president but he will have the power to vote or the last option same powers as president of council but will not have the power to vote so the answer is option d that is same powers as president of council but will not have power to vote the meeting called under sub section 2 shall be presided over by the collector or such officer as the collector may be by order in writing appoint in this behalf the collector or such officer shall when presiding over such meeting have the same powers as the president of the council when presiding over a meeting of the council has but shall not have the power to vote now this is written in the code language so the ninth question is as per maharashtra municipal councils nagar panchayats and industrial townships act of 1965 any councillor aggrieved by any decision 
मतलब कोई भी काउंसिलर ही इज अपसेट और ही विज नॉट एग्रीड या फिर वो सहमत नहीं है किसी डिसीजन से ऑफ द कलेक्टर और एनी सच ऑफिसर एक्सेप्टिंग और रिजेक्टिंग एनी नॉमिनेशन पेपर में मतलब कोई भी काउंसिलर अगर वो सहमत नहीं है किसी डिसीजन को लेके तो उसने क्या करना चाहिए सो फर्स्ट ही शुड प्रेजेंट एन अपील टू द रीजनल डायरेक्टर ऑफ म्यूनिसिपल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन कंसर्न या फिर साइमल्टेनियसली इसके साथ ही ही शुड गिव अ नोटिस ऑफ सच अपील टू द कलेक्टर और एनी सच ऑफिसर या फिर ये दोनों भी चीजें नहीं करनी चाहिए या फिर ही शुड डू ऑप्शन ए एंड ऑप्शन बी बोथ साइमल्टेनियसली सो द आंसर इज फर्स्ट ही शुड प्रेजेंट एन अपील टू द रीजनल डायरेक्टर ऑफ म्यूनिसिपल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन कंसर्न एंड साइमल्टेनियसली ही शुड ऑल्सो गिव अ नोटिस ऑफ सच अपील टू द कलेक्टर और सच ऑफिसर एंड द लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज As per Maharashtra Municipal Councils, Nagar Panchayats, and Industrial Townships Act of 1965, any councillor aggrieved by any decision of the collector or such officer accepting or rejecting any nomination paper from the meeting of election of president may present an appeal within dash hours from intimation of such decision. मतलब अगर कोई भी काउंसिलर एज वी हैव टॉक बिफोर कि कोई काउंसिलर अगर सहमत नहीं है किसी डिसीजन को लेके तो ही विल डू टू थिंग्स विच वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर बट वो कितने टाइम में करना चाहिए सो विद इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स और फोर्टी एट या फिर सेवेंटी टू या फिर नाइनटी सिक्स so the answer is he should appeal within 48 hours within the uh, from intimation of such decision so if you like this video thank you so much for watching like this video subscribe our channel thank you so much